Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. It's going to be about 20 minutes before Clay comes home. And Mondays are busy for me. I have lots of things I'm doing to catch up from the weekend. So I want to show you just a quick, kind of like a dump, real fast meal that I do. Um, I have kabasi, and I'm going to dump in a can of Hunt's tomato sauce. And it comes out pretty nice. And it doesn't take that long. Um, a whole can of mushrooms. I have some dehydrated onions. Clay and I love onions. So I'm going to put these in. Those are dehydrated. They will actually be okay. I didn't rehydrate them. I usually always rehydrate. But I'm going to just rehydrate them in the liquid. And I have this up a little bit higher than I like. Clay's going to probably have to wait a few minutes to eat, maybe 10 minutes, um, which will get him settled in and everything when he first comes home. So that's okay. And um, then I will probably chop this up as I'm cooking it. This is like an easy meal, like say on a Monday. And you kind of look like a hero because, you know, you got mushrooms and spaghetti. It's not sausage. It is kabasi. Just something to shake up the you know, the meal plan. And then what I'll do is I'll have this for him. And I could dump it in, but I'm not going to. I just have a can of carrots that, um, you know, actually I think I will dump it in. Sometimes I do that. And I know it's not looks funny, but it doesn't really matter because it's just getting the vegetables in there and it will be all good and tasty and added in and just add to the flavor and everything. See? And it's just like a little dump meal. And then I'll just like serve him the kabasi and everything else will be on the side. And so I can continue to work and watch my stove, of course, as it's cooking to make sure everything's done. And by the time he comes home, I can serve him this and uh, like I said, it's just a nice little meal on the side. And I wanted to show you, like I said, the carrots like that because some people won't like their carrots mixed in. They'll want it, you know, like on the side. But Clay and I love carrots and we have no problem. We mix all kinds of vegetables together. So this is going to be cooking. And I usually don't use a metal spoon with, um, with uh, this type of pan, but I, for the beginning of this, showing you guys, it's not going to kill my pan. <laughs> so I do have the heat up a little bit higher than I want to. I want to turn it down. So um, it's actually, we're ready to get a new stove. So our stove is kind of, it's it kind of has one or two heat settings. I turn it down, but it seems like it either has to be really low or really high. But, you know, that's why you should always have a meat thermometer in your oven and stuff. Because every oven is different and just because one person cooks on one temperature doesn't mean it's going to work right with you. You have to learn methods and then just keep working with it. In fact, on my blog, popobackyardfarm.blogspot.com, I have a free cooking class there if you want to check that out. But, um, you know, experiment, learn to make things. So see how this is already boiling. I really don't want it that high. So I've got to turn this stove down. But uh, just to, you know, Veggie kibasi, one pot meal, easy to make. You know, I think it's nice to have the onions and the mushrooms and then you can dump vegetables in. If your family won't like that, just cook them in the microwave. Fast meal, probably half an hour. Every, you're good to go. And if you're like me and you dehydrate, some of your vegetables, like these onions that I have, I don't have a big problem. These are spring onions. These aren't regular onions. These are great because we dehydrated a bunch of these, and these don't take that long to rehydrate. But some vegetables you do need to rehydrate, like the day before, you're going to get, like, crunchy. <laughs> so, but these work pretty good, which is why I love dehydrating, because then I always have fresh vegetables at hand and can mix and match as I please. So, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. And, uh, you know, let me know. If this would be something you would make for your family, maybe some recipes that you like to make with kibasi, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, God bless and have a good day.